Hello guys, welcome back to Engine Room Department. Hope you all are enjoying the series on motor. So today let's let's see how uh, how we can start a generator using air and air starting motor. Okay. For that you only need to know like four valves. The one is reduction valve, relief valve, then one relay valve, and your uh, starting starting air valve. Okay, now this reduction valve reduces 30 bar air to 7 bar air, and there is a pressure sensor in here. You know the relief valve. Okay, now air is available till here. Okay, now this is the air starting valve which which we can control remotely or locally so air passes through here through the filter and when this this is a solenoid when we when the solenoid is energized or or when when we press this locally at the time air is passed through this this line to the to the cylinder of this starting air uh, to the cylinder okay and this one pushes this uh, piston to this side so what happens this is a pinion here okay and this one engages on to the gear of the uh, tooth of the um, this flywheel okay and when this one moves here and engages at that time this one also moves here right this is connected now at that time this there is a port here and this port uncovers when this piston moves here this port gets uncovered and the air from here moves through the to the relay valve right air comes here and moves moves to the relay valve and there is a spring here it always this spring always keeps this relay valve in this position and when the air comes through this line it pushes this relay valve upwards uh, not upwards uh, to this position and air further then after that the air passes to the starting air motor then it gets started and now this this will start rotate so this is how we start in uh, this is how we are starting generator in uh, by using air so when after starting when generator picks up runs in fuel when generator is about to start it, or when generator starts running in fuel at that time we need to disengage this or else or else this teeth will be damaged right so we need to pull this back or we need to retract this or we need to disengage this right so what we can do so here there is a this one solenoid valve this one de-energizes at 10 percentage of the rated rpm so when generator reaches 10 percentage of the rated rpm this one de-energizes okay and this one will be in this position and all this air will be vented out through this one so what happens then afterwards after that the spring will push this piston to this side right now this is not this there is no air going into the relay valve this is blocked right then so if there is no air then the spring will put this thing back to its original position which is this one there is no more air which is admitted to the starting air motor that's how you can start uh, generator using air and air starting motor one more thing worth mentioning is that this is the emergency shutdown valve okay and the air comes from here and acts on this uh, cylinder and what it does is it pulls the rack to the zeroth position if there is a low lube oil or over speed trip then at that time this solenoid valve gets energized I need to mention one more thing in this is that this is the fuel limiter at the time of starting we should not allow the fuel rack to go 100 percentage in it will cause black smoke at the time of starting so with this fuel limiter 
what it does is it's on, it only allows 30 to 35 percentage of the fuel rack to go in thus reducing the black smoke that's it guys that's it for today and have a nice day see you in an another video